Hey guys, it's Kelsey, and I'm doing a video on Kaik care and what it's like to care for a Kaik and what you need. Um, basically here, um, I'm doing a voice narration over because anytime I talk to the computer, uh, Kiara gets extremely upset. It's a huge pet peeve of hers. She does not want me talking to the computer. It just extremely upsets her. Either that or she's camera shy and hates being in front of the camera. She'll start biting me and getting extremely mad. So this is why I'm doing a narration voiceover. Uh, she got a shower before this video, so she looks very beautiful, but actually she was going through a very serious molt, and that's why you'll see some darker coloration on her back. As you can see, she's preening herself multiple times throughout this video, and also a little bit crankier than usual. Anyway, for let's first talk about the time commitment for a parrot like this. If you're gone from your house more than 60% of the day, I do not recommend getting a Kaiik parrot, or any parrot really. Uh, parrots are extremely social animals and need to be a part of their flock. If you're gone for more than 60% of the day and you can't put that 40% towards your bird, I would suggest getting another parrot for your Kaiik. So you have two Kaiiks. However, they're very expensive birds. Uh, she was about $800 and I wanted to get two, but if I were to buy two birds, that'd be $1,600 and I would need a larger cage. I couldn't afford it and I really wanted her. She was just wonderful. She was very close to her sister when I got her and I do regret today not getting her sister. Even though her sister was already sold, I feel like I could have bargained with the breeder. So two kayaks are always best because if you do work a 40 hour a week job, you can still spend time with your birds every day, but you, you, you also have them to keep each other company, so it's not much of a burden on you. Here you can see Kai, uh, Kiara has a feather hanging out of her side. She's going through a really bad molt, and so you'll see that popping out throughout the video. Next, I'm going to be talking about the diet. Um... The diet of a kai consists of a lot of fruits and vegetables as the primary substance with some pellets. Uh, there's a variety of pellets that you can pick. I used to use Supreme, but I don't anymore because they had a recall for a lot of parrots getting sick from their food. Uh, I use uh, very few pellets. I usually do fruits and vegetables on the main part of it and then I give her a little seed mix and uh, also, also neutral berries for a treat. Those are a little bit of expensive but the cost of a kayak is expensive. Uh, she, Like I said she was 800. Her cage was about 200 and it's a very large cage for a kayak. It could probably fit two kayaks. Um, so I gave her twice the size as usual because birds deserve a huge cage. Now you can see here um, kind of entertaining her with a straw. Uh, toys are very important for birds. They need to keep entertained because they're so smart. Uh, here you can do really cheap toys like this, like pa uh, not paper clips, like popsicle sticks, uh, straws, cardboard, little cat toy balls, things like that they really love, but the stuff that goes in their cage that can hang from the bars and all that is a little bit expensive. I think her her bed that I got for her cage, her swing, her um, her branches or her rope branch and all that, and her water dish or her water uh, sip, um, that was all probably costing about a hundred plus dollars, and you have to really think of that expense. But the cool thing is you can get really cheap toys like this, and they love it, and they're super entertained like this, and they don't cost you anything. Uh, and they actually tend to like these toys better than the expensive ones. And I already talked about the time commitment. I mean, these birds can live 40 years, so really think about that. Um, another thing is just the money, guys. She is so expensive. I mean, things break. Uh, she has a travel cage for when I travel. Because it's really hard to go on vacation with these types of birds, you know? I mean you leave and they're very lonely you have to have someone who has a lot of time to take care of them and <clears throat> some people can't take care of them because they have cats and things like that in the house so really think about that 
As you can see, I'm just playing with her like this. I do this for about a good solid hour every day, just playing with her just like this and keeping her entertained and showing her that she can trust me and I love her. That's a big commitment. The other, on average, two to three hours I spend with her is just her in her travel cage while I watch a movie or her on my shoulder. Um, a lot of times we'll watch movies together with her hanging out on my shoulder when she's calm. Um, but yeah, an hour a day I usually have her on the ground playing with toys and things like that. For the sake of the video, I have her up in my hands and I'm playing with her. Kaiks also, I want to put this, there's a good, the bad, and the ugly, can get extremely moody. Uh, she can, like I said, she doesn't like me talking to the camera and she will get so mad. I kept trying to put that cardboard on her head, but she was not having it. I was just having fun. But yeah, she gets extremely jealous and mad and just does not like it and will bite me continuously. And so you have to know what upsets your bird and you need to know that no bird is perfect and you may get an angel or you may get a, a just a raptor instead of a parrot. So that was a really big part of knowing what you're getting into. It's a 40 year commitment. You can't just take the bird back and be like, no, this bird's too crazy. Um, she owns me. I don't own her. As you can see, she keeps dropping everything I'm giving to her in this video and it's kind of funny and then uh, sh they're such great acrobats too as you can see she hangs upside down like a bat a lot and she's going from my hand to hand they're just incredible acrobats and are very strong birds they're not the great flyers or great talkers but man they are strong anyways thank you so much for watching this video guys I really apologize I had to do a voiceover but she gets angry otherwise bye